Okay. Um, hello, everybody, and thank you very much um, to uh, my society for giving me this opportunity to share um, an early part of my research with you. Um, and thank you all very much for coming in here this afternoon. It has been a really exciting conference, and I know we're winding down towards the end, so I'm going to keep it fairly snappy and short, um, and I'll move on to the good stuff straight away, hopefully. Sense of community is um, the theory I'm looking at, um, and I will show you a, a really nice case study. Um, I call it an exemplar of e-participation or citizen engagement, um, and that's from um, a care opinion platform from the UK. Um, I started out my journey as um, an, a PhD um, very much with a social science uh, background, sociology and politics. Um, and I found myself in an information systems department doing an MSc, and I found I really liked it. I liked the mix between technology and people very, very much, and I think that's been useful in applying um, my, my work to, to e-participation. Um, I came across crowdsourcing. Uh, I thought, wow, this is really exciting. And also public value, which is a, a theory that looks at um, the value that goes beyond dollars and cents. It looks like what we intrinsically value in society or for the public good. I thought there has to be something great I could do out there with with with, with e-participation. Um, I started off, as all PhDs do, really bouncy and happy. This is so exciting. Um, and I, I thought I'd try an unusual tack, which is maybe because I'm an older student. Um, and I, I went to see what would um, encourage people to participate. Because you know, I, I read, read all the research and said, you know, these e-participation platforms are out there. If you build it, they will come, kind of thing. It was a little while ago. And um, of course, now we know that you can build it and often they don't come, or it, it doesn't work out quite as one intended. Um, so I came across this theory, Sense of Community, from Community Psychology. Um, and I discovered it had loads and loads of benefits that would be really, really great for e-participation. Um, it had... Um, if you could create this sense of community, it had great impacts on behavior. Um, and as you can see from uh, above, a strong predictor of information sharing um, and self-disclosure. Um, but also has cognitive benefits because sense of community is the cognitive dimension of social capital. So I went out and I had a little look um, at what was out there. And I got the opportunity to examine um, the Irish Open Government Partnership uh, platform with the company Civic Q, um, and we ran um, an online forum uh, for people to um, discuss their their um, what value they received from using the platform and being involved in the process. Um, and probably not surprising to a lot of people out there, because um, I would say you have an awful lot more knowledge of the area than I have. Um, I, I'm I'm here to to listen and learn from you. Um, that because of the lack of responsiveness on the platform by government officials, they felt that they hadn't been listened to, and as a result, their perceptions of value was very much affected. Um, so I thought, I'm going to have to amend this some way. Um, there is no community out there. There is no community of interactions um, over a long, long period of time. So if I, I bring that down and I try and create some sense of community rules of engagement, so I use the same theory, but I amended it. And when I amended it, I found these, these three main design rules, if you like, um, that identity had an impact on people's feeling of sense of belonging. Um, I changed the interaction element of it. Um, in the, the original theory, you had influence that was very important and shared um, emotional connection. And this I amalgamated into two new levels, as you can see there, identified participation, which is talking about a deeper level of engagement and equitable interaction, which is probably the, the aim of, of most citizen engagement projects. Um, and then, of course, value, which neatly aligned with um, needs fulfillment. Um, I got help from people on, on, on the Knowledge Hub and their um, online facilitators community. Um, and uh, we ran a webinar, and I, I benchmarked um, these sense of community rules of engagement. Um, and these are very much drawn from the, the literature. I'm not going to go through them. You can look at them or 
have a, a peek through, but they, they follow the, the three, three main um, design areas that I mentioned earlier. Um, and I discovered that, that these new type of um, engagements um, that I mentioned, that they seem to work, they were identifiable. Um, within that, that test run. And then I very kindly got permission from Care Opinion in the UK um, to examine the interactions on their platform. Um, I spent a long time looking for a platform that would be useful for examining interactions between um, citizens and government type officials. Um, and I'm not an expert in the health area, but um, Care Opinion are, um, and this is a little bit about them. They are, um, we talk about um, bottom up or top down engagement, but this is a third type if you like. Um, they're an intermediary, they're an independent platform. Um, they're 13 years old, um, they were started by a doctor, um, and it very much, it's, if you like, it must have been built from the inside out. So he knew what he was talking about, he had very much domain knowledge. Um, and you can see clearly their motivation is for people to be able to share their experiences of care. Um, and it, it, it's moved from uh, called, being called patient opinion to care opinion to reflect all different types of care settings. Um, and you can see their, their mission statement there. Um, they want to be able to, people to share their, their, their experiences um, in a safe and simple way, uh, leading to learning and change. So they're, they're setting their stall out really clearly and really early. Um, so it's an open collaboration platform, um, and it, it's been in England for a little while. Um, and it, it's doing really, really well. <laughs> um, a quarter of a million stories told over that time. Um, and for me, what's really kind of magical about it is the responsiveness rate. Um, it's, it's anything from 80% at the moment on the, the whole of, of uh, the UK and Scotland, and up to 100% um, in Scotland. Uh, in Scotland in 2013, the platform was endorsed by the Scottish Government um, for, for being a, a feedback platform. So this is how it works. Um, a person uses some care. Um, and they have an experience of that care or, that, or in that hospital setting and they submit the story. And that story is, is sent in to Care Opinion and the story is moderated. Now, this moderation system seems to work extremely well. They have amassed an awful lot of knowledge about how to do this. Their, their platform is very intuitive and very um, open and transparent. As you can see on the, the right hand side of the screen, it uses a traffic light system to show people what the um, the, the status is of their story. Um, stories are, are usually moderated quite little because a lot of the stories are very positive. But stories um, can be amended if there's any legal content. Um, people aren't named individually. So um, I, I, as an external reader, wouldn't be able to identify anybody. And when the story is, is published, alerts are sent directly to the hospital um, or the care setting that the story is about. So your story that the, the citizen submits is sent directly. And that's really, really useful. Um, and also the story is seen by loads and loads of people. So the, the patient submits one story, but it's seen by many. And of course, it's all open and transparent. It's open for everybody to see. Thanks for me. And these are um, a little example of um, two responses. Now you can see from um, the one on the left that it's, it's a, possibly that it's quite a serious topic, but the, um, the responder has shared her picture and her full job title. Um, and it's been seen by many, many people. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's been liked, so people get a chance to like what they see, or I've experienced this, or I haven't. So the, 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 the platform is very good at, at kind of seeking every level of engagement they can find. Um, and what I did is I analyzed the responses to see what kind of language was being used and what kind of information was being used using the framework. Um, the, there's a, a positive and a negative story there, and um, you can see that the language is pretty similar, there's no difference. It's still socio-emotional language, there's still information being shared, um, and it's still personal and direct. Um, as you can see from the, the bottom, people 
um, can use it in different ways. When they, they sign up to the platform, um, they have access to, um, to, to reports from the platform. Um, but just the, the feedback from the patients, often people will share within their circles within hospitals, and it, it's good for, for staff morale but it also um, can be used for um, creating uh, further improvements or even planning in the future or planning changes. Um, this is the back end of what the, um, the, the staff will, can receive. The, if you like, the, the managers can analyze um, the positive and negatives that, that are found. The stories are tagged by the, the users. Um, the, the citizens originally. Um, and as you can see, most of these are really, really positive. The green are all positive with the, the um, pink being negative. Um, and you might spot communication just about in the middle there. Communication is always the, you know, so is good, but communication is generally the problem. So I'll just show you what my qualitative analysis showed. Um, I had I couldn't examine the sense of belonging particularly well, except to say that people shared information really freely on this platform. There were two different levels of identity sharing. Um, patients um, or their carers or whoever was submitting the story are anonymous, but they go through the moderation process and therefore um, it's, it's all very um, ordered and there is, there's no uh, slanging matches online or anything like that. Um, so you can see um, I've got uh, identified participation, the, the socio-emotional language in there, um, and uh, equitable interaction, and needs fulfillment out on the side. What I was hoping to, to um, show from this is it's just the broad concept of what's going on, is that there's both intrinsic and extrinsic values from it. Um, there's some people get a change out of it. Some people, um, the staff might get a boost to morale from being told they were doing a good job, or their bosses can see they're, they're doing a good job too. Um, but oftentimes, it's just getting that socio-emotional response, is that someone is listening to me. I, I, I submitted a story. Someone listened to me. I feel a little bit better about that. Um, and this is how it works out um, in the different types of interactions. Um, the, there are different types of socio-emotional interactions divided up by, by type and level there. Um, um, it, it took a little while to, to roll through these, and, and this is a template that I'll be looking at the rest of the platform with, or as, as much of it as I can manage. Um, the, the different levels of, of contact are quite interesting too that um, in the more negative uh, stories, people are quite open about saying, this is my number, please contact me. So it can move from online to offline. And the last one. Um, so two levels of identity have been recognized as workable within this platform. Um, the moderation seems to have had a huge impact on this platform. Um, it's all respectful, and there are very, very good norms of participation. Um, the the socio-emotional part is, is key to the platform, um, and it, it leads to great information sharing um, and back on, on to offline as, as required. And um, for, for all the stakeholders, there is value being created, um, not just the, the citizen or the patient who's getting a reply, but also for the, the staff who are hearing more about their work, um, and they're, they're open to improve their work which is, is really good, and that comes through in the platform. So the motivation behind um, the whole thing is, is really positive and clear. So I'd love to hear what you think about it later, or at the end, or, or whenever. Um, and thanks very much for your time. <laughs>